my number one purchase of 2023 has to be What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm S. I'm Jared, and today we're gonna be talking about our five best purchases of 2023. I made a lot of purchases this year. Uh, I've definitely got my favorites, uh, but let's go ahead and get into it, and we're gonna start with number five. So for number five, I have the Nanic 963 case. This has been one of the best purchases I've made all year because it houses all of my stuff. I would show you, but it takes up the whole desk. I actually do have a full video going over everything I keep in the case, my review of the case, my thoughts on the case, but for my workflow, for traveling, for protection, it keeps all my gear in one spot for any job I need it for. Yeah, and I love that case too. That's why, I mean, I have the 962, which is a little bit smaller than yours, but yeah, I love that case too. It's a great case. Yeah, you're the one who put me on, Nanik, and uh, I love it. My number five is gonna be a lot smaller than that. Um, but it's definitely in the same realm. It's uh, with organization. And so that's gonna be the cord bag. So these bags right here are great. I love that I'm able to, you know, I have an audio bag, I have a power bag, I have cable bag. Um, this has really helped keep everything organized inside my Nanit case. And I absolutely love them. So that's it for number five. So let's go ahead and move on to number four. All right, so for number four, uh, my number four purchase of the year is definitely going to be my Sure anamorphic lenses. Uh, these are not a necessity, but I absolutely love them. We recently used them on a, on a shoot. Um, it's definitely like something that will be a more, little bit more creative, but I love these lenses. And I, 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 I've been so used to like shooting on like still lenses. Um, I've always been afraid to do like manual focus. And so I think this is definitely gonna help me, even though it's anamorphic, it's gonna help me take that next step into actually getting some, some cinema glass. All right, my number four is going to be the Zoom F6. Now, S is actually the one who put me on this. And although I do think it's a little overkill with the six XLR inputs, uh, the 32 bit float, the built in time code, everything like that, this is a great device. It's something that has helped me for weddings, for our podcast, for anything you need whenever it comes to recording good, clean audio. This is my go to source. But if they come out with like an F4 with only four inputs, then with 32 bit flow and time code, I'll be picking that up and trading this guy in. But with speaking upgrade to my kit, let's move on to number three. So my number three purchase for 2023 is the Aperture 600X. This thing is a beast. Uh, before this, my entire kit composed of a 200X and a 60X, and it just wasn't enough power. So moving into this allows me to have more versatility with all my lighting setups, and it's something that I definitely will never regret purchasing. Yeah, it's a solid light, man. I love the 600X. I have it as well. It might be on my list. I don't know. We'll have to see. If it's in my list. <laughs> uh, but for my number three, um, it's definitely going to be the Rode NTG 3B. Like this was a major upgrade. I didn't even know how much of an upgrade it was because before this one, I had the Rode NTG 2. And I thought that mic was great. I had it for so many years, um, but I had to purchase another mic to be able to boom two people. And when I got this, I heard the difference between the NTG 3 and the NTG 2, and it is a huge difference. And I absolutely love this mic. And that is why it's my number three. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to our number two. All right, so my number two purchase, I said it might make my list and it sure did. It is definitely the Aperture 600X Pro. This light um, is great. I love it a lot, but this has definitely helped me on a lot of my shoots. Um, I had a shoot where I had to, you know, I was shooting outside of a window to get the, the, um, the skyline of Dallas and I didn't have enough input. Um, and this is definitely, um, been a major upgrade and I love it. So my number two is actually the Tamron 35, the 150 F2 to 2.8. This is a variable aperture zoom, which I know a lot of people try to stay away from. And I was a little weary purchasing it, but this is my Hail Mary purchase of 2023. It's so flexible. Um, with the built-in optical zoom with the FX6, you actually get a 35 to 225, which to me just makes more sense than purchasing the Sony uh, 70 to 200. I had an opportunity to use that when we were out um, shooting eSports when we were shooting for the Halo and you let me use that a couple times and I really loved it. It was a great lens because I, I was going from the 24 to 70 uh, to the 70 to 200 so I can get that extra reach and if I had had that lens, you know, it would have been a great, uh, it would have been a great, it would have been, it would be a great lens to have <clears throat> in my kit. 
um, we'll have to see about, we'll have to see for next year in 2024. I definitely recommend it to anybody who can make the purchase decision on that one. But let's move on to our number one, the one everybody's waiting on, and uh, I'm gonna let S take it away. All right, so my number one purchase of 2023 has to be the FX3. Um, I really love this camera a lot. I went from the A7S3 to the FX3, and even though those cameras are very similar, the FX3 is definitely a step up, um, and I absolutely love it. Um, I, I'm shooting with it right now, so I don't have it to throw on the, on the, on the table. Um, but I want to hear what your number one is for 2023. My number one, surprise, surprise, is going to be my FX6. I got this about four or five months ago through a trade on Facebook, essentially, and I have been rocking with this camera ever since. I have dreamed of this camera for roughly two to three years, and when I finally was able to purchase it, own it, I mean, I was ecstatic. This camera has got me a lot of jobs. It's created some beautiful imagery and yeah it's just something i think is amazing but that's it that's our five best purchases of 2023 uh if you want to see more you know make sure you subscribe to the club like the video leave a comment below what you want to see and uh we'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys